In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for ClF3, chlorine trifluoride. So the chlorine, that's the green atom there in the center, and then we have three fluorine atoms. We'll use these general rules to figure out the oxidation numbers. So as we look down, fluorine is a minus one. So each of these fluorines is gonna have an oxidation number of minus one. Chlorine is in group 17A, and normally it is a minus one, except when it's bonded to something like oxygen or fluorine. So in this case, since we have it bonded to these fluorines, we can't use this rule, and we'll need to figure out the oxidation number on the chlorine here. That's actually fairly simple, because all of the oxidation numbers in a neutral compound, they have to add up to zero. So we have a minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus three plus three, that would equal zero. So the oxidation number on the chlorine in ClF3 is going to be plus three. To recap, we found the oxidation numbers on the ones we knew, the fluorines here, and we used those in the fact that a neutral compound, and this is neutral because there's no plus or minus charge, in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. And all these numbers, they add up to zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for ClF3, and thanks for watching.